Hi everyone and welcome back to Sunshine and Country. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and become a member of the Sunshine and Country family today. It's totally free and we would love to have you. Also hit the thumbs up button. Uh, that really lets uh, YouTube know that you like to see more of our content or more content like this. And also if you leave a comment, it really does matter and it does help a lot. You can tell us where you're from. You can just say hi, any kind of comment, we really would appreciate it. Today we're going to be talking about things you can do for your chickens during the heat of the summer to prevent heat exhaustion, which can lead to heat stroke, which that can be deadly in chickens and any animals and even people. So today we're focusing on chickens and turkeys. What you need to do is first of all, make sure that they have plenty of clean, cool water and several water dishes if you have them in a dish if you have a different watering system then just make sure that it's it's fully loaded and ready to go and you might want to recheck it to make sure that it's cool throughout the day so what we do is we just change it out about two three times a day to make sure they've got plenty of cool water available we also add electrolytes to their water it will turn the water, it, depending on what kind you buy, it will usually turn the water orange and it looks like Gatorade. And the orange Gatorade you can buy in the store. But I'm not saying to feed that to them. I'm just saying it looks like it. So what you would want to do is go to Tractor Supply and pick up some Save a Chicks. Those are the easiest ones. But also we found there's other brands that are more cost effective and they sell them there from time to time. And you can pick those up and add them to the water and that will help to uh, keep your chickens hydrated during the summer heat also you can put this little planter we bought at lowe's i think they sell them other places too and call them other things but it's actually a planter you can get it out in the garden shop area of lowe's i think we paid maybe ten dollars or less and believe it or not chickens will get in it when they're hot and they'll kind of just wait in it a little bit to cool off. That's another good thing you can do. Also, you can spray down if there's a tree nearby like this hanging over. You can spray it down. And you can also, if you have a spray down your chicken coop, especially if you have a tin roof, a metal roof, you can spray that down and that'll help cool the chicken coop off. And then lastly, let me pan out a minute. You can spray down the ground and they will actually dig down in the ground and put their body down there to cool off like a dog much like a dog would so those are some things you can do also you can fill up water jugs or jugs that you've rinsed out and cleaned real good you can fill them up with water put them in your freezer after they get frozen you can bring them out set them down in the little pool thing or you can set them in your water dishes you can also use water bottles or any kind of bottles as long as they're cleaned out first and then fill them up with water and then just use tap water put them in your freezer let them freeze and then bring them out that'll help keep the water cooler longer so if you don't want to have to keep dumping out water to keep the water kind of cool you could just maybe cut it down to two times a day or something or even one time a day just check on them later in the evening to make sure that the water is still Cool. if it's not you want to dump it because sometimes depending on where you place your water and the heat will warm up the water and having that uh, jug that is um, from your freezer that has frozen water in it will help to keep it cooled down a lot longer I'll demonstrate this in some of the other videos I will attach to this and uh, those are some of the things you can do um, I might do another video on signs and symptoms of heat stroke later on or heat exhaustion but anyways also if they're out free ranging go ahead and put some water dishes down uh, several places so they don't have to run all the way back to their coop just to get water if they start getting thirsty while they're out they have different places they can go and get water and if like they have a special place they like to go uh, and you can reach it with a water hose uh, you might spray it down too so that when they get up under there they can cool off there as well those are just like some things you can do to help and uh, oh yeah yeah one more thing 
you can give them like frozen fruit as a treat um, that will help also you can also add ice if you don't want to do the you know the jug thing or the bottle thing and freeze water you can also use ice like if you have an ice maker you can also just add ice to their water that's a great thing to do too well that's about it for now we will talk with you later and i will add some more videos up link to this and you can see how we go about doing some of these things and hope you have a sunshiny day if you have any questions or comments about the video or what you can do or anything just leave it down below and we will talk to you later and see you on the next video